Hi everyone and welcome back! I'm Juliet and welcome to my restorative yoga practice today. This practice is intended to heal, to nurture, to recover and to restore our physical body, emotional body and the mental body. Since it's a lighter version of the practice, it can be an excellent practice for the beginners. As well, it can be a wonderful practice for more advanced practitioners on the days of recovery. You can also use this flow to jumpstart your day. So let's enjoy this practice together. And as always, I will guide you through, guys, and you team will do your best. So let's begin. Alright guys, so let's begin our practice today seated in a cross cross legged position. We're going to take the arms on the knees and we will begin with a little cat and cow flow in a seated position. So today our focus is, as always, entire body of course, but we will make an accent in the lower passiness focused on the lower back, middle back and some hips today. So let's begin up here very gentle. Expand through the heart and then take the chin down. You can expand through the heart, expand through the throat. And then we will gently take the arms up, find the bind in the arms. And we're going to do the same, but with the arms raised. Now, if that feels a little bit too much, you can definitely just do what we started with. Let's do a couple more. Mm -hmm. and switch the direction of the arms try to send the arms far away behind that crown do the couple more i feel like my energy is rising my body is warming up beautiful guys and let's go ahead and do just a few stretches through the side very nice just a couple more and then we're going to go and move on our knees to continue with the cat and cow flow on our knees. So let's take the knees on the floor. Take the wrist of the shoulder, one underneath each other. And slowly, gently reach up and down, all the way. Reach up, expand that heart, cow pose, and back down, cat pose. Up. Cow pose and back down cat pose. We're gonna stick with this for the few more repetitions. Mm -hmm. Try to expand that movement, guys, and really try to feel it through the through entire back, entire spine. Just do what feels right all the way. Very good. Let's go ahead and wake up laterally. So make a few movements side to side. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job, guys. And we're going to start to flow child pose. Then gently up through the top, cobra or up dog. Make sure it feels right in your back. Do not overdo it. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through that nose. We're going to do a few more repetitions up here. And then we will combine our cobra with the frog feet. So let's begin up here. Take your both feet together, reach up, and then send the hips back on the feet. So knees are wider than normal. Feet together, sink down through the hips, expand through the heart, and take it back, guys. Let's do a few more repetitions. Make sure you don't go too far so it doesn't hurt your back at all. Mm -hmm. And on the next one, let's just hold it for the breath or two, whichever feels right and comfortable. Lift all the way. Today morning I practiced with my group. We did uh, so many lunges and so many and such a long frog hold, the full frog. So my hips are literally screaming. But I'd love to do it with you as well. Let's go ahead and take it back. 
and we're ready to extend to the first downward facing dog. So feet guys, hips width apart, hands are flat on the floor, spread the fingers wide. Beginners definitely bend your knees, lift your heels, remember, relax your neck, shoulder blades apart, heart is wide and open guys, heart is wide and open, relax your neck, very good. Mm. We're gonna do a few flow to wake up the body. If you need to use the knees on the floor, I'm gonna show you the first time. Use the knees for this chaturanga. Lift up, back to your downward facing dog. Let's do it again. Plank, knees on the floor or knees above the ground. Reaching up and all the way back. Let's do one more, guys. All the way through. Reach up. I just did the full variation of the transition. You don't have to do it. Relax, restore, and you're done for facing dog. However, anytime you need to go and rest, child pose, please do that. Let's bring the knees back, sit back on the floor, and grab your right leg. We're gonna give this hip a few motions. Just right and left, maybe push it slightly backwards, right? Just to open, and then we will practice the baby cradle. So take this foot, rather than um, taking it to the belly, we will level it 90 degrees above the floor and continue to draw it towards the opposite shoulder. I like to use an elbow. If you have a good range of motion in that hip and lower back, then go ahead and just bring that foot inside that elbow. Now, you don't have to do it at all. It's not a requirement, right? You just can hold it with the hands. Try to hold it again 90 degrees above the floor rather than do it farther but lower. Be patient, guys. Be patient. So, we're gonna practice baby cradle. Few breaths. We need to hold it for a few breaths. So, Zasana will take an effect. Mm -hmm. Very nice. From here, we're gonna move toward the half lord of the fishes modification. So the left is staying inside as it was on the previous asana. Here you can use and grab your ankle, your toes if you can reach without compromising the back. Use the strap as well or just support it somewhere else. Go ahead and gently rotate outside of that extended leg. Watch the back, watch the spine, watch your breast. Not, not that I want you to get obsessed about your form, but I want you to learn the good forms, the correct forms, the good alignments, so that body can heal and recover faster and progress faster. So very nice. We're gonna take this left and we will cross over the right. Make sure guys that you're sitting nice and comfortable on the both seat bones and we rotate again outside of this right leg, but this time, Knee is bent. If you can't step over or you step over and your foot is hanging right there, could happen. Then you just put it up front and do the same thing. So it doesn't have to be outside. Shoulders down, heart up, keep on breathing. We might even close our eyes and enjoy a soft rotation through that lower back. Good work, guys. Let's repeat the same thing from the other side. So let's extend this leg, put it all the way in, grab your left, find a good tall quality alignment and let's give that left hip flexor in the base of the spine some good flexion and extension. So maybe a little rotation up here and then press that knee slightly behind just to open up more space up here. And then we're gonna be ready for the baby cradle. So again, try to remain the foot 90 degrees above the floor, don't drop it down. And we draw the left towards the right, towards the opposite. If you have a little bit more range of motion today, then bring your foot inside that elbow. Again, don't do it on the expense of your back. Make sure that back is always your priority as we learn it. Keep on breathing, guys. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through that nose. We're 
gonna finish up with this little sit and flow we're gonna go back to the spine middle spine upper spine in the lower back massage it through the rolls and then come to the chair pose all right great job let's go ahead still work with that left extend your right and we're going to grab the left with the right hand just the opposite remember guys you can actually use the strap lift the heart and rotate outside of this left leg outside guys outside mm -hmm. hmm. and then we do almost the same we just go ahead and cross over so if you can't cross over put it outside remember as we did and let's take a time and just move it outside through external rotation in through the nose and now through that nose very good just a couple of breaths or two very nice let's return back in the center extend those legs let's do a few forward folds just to make sure that the back is active lengthen in all the way rise take your hands behind open up breathe you can hold the hands together or undo them forward fold Take them back. You can hold them together or undo them for the forward fold just like here. And let's do one more time. Reach up and open. Active upper back and forward fold. Very, very, very nice. We will bend the knees. Find ourselves in a toe squat for the little back rolls. Be very gentle. We did practice it a few days ago. So take your time. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let's do one more. Oh, feels so good. And coming up. And see if you can come up to the chair pose. Keep on breathing. Heart up and open. You can take your hands up front of the heart if you have to. Big breath, big sweep. Let's go ahead and proceed. Just a little back bend with the hand support on the hamstring or on the back. Big breath, big opening. And all the way, guys, to your pose. Slowly, if you can, go ahead and squat. Tap the floor and roll back for the few times. Just a few soft rotations. Mm -hmm. And one more. Coming up. Cheer pose when you're ready, guys. We're gonna include little flow here. Reach up. And exhalation. Forward fold. Reach up again. Tear pose. Let's open up the arms and rotate through the base of the spine. Soft rotation, knees together. External rotation. Return it back to the center in the opposite direction. And then we're gonna go slowly to another soft little back bend, guys. Again, please support yourself on the lower back or on the hamstrings. Push the hands into the back or into the hamstrings. Take the heart up. Flexible back is a healthy back. Let's reach, guys, all the way up and give me the soft forward fold from the halfway lift. We will step the right leg back. Hips and back very interconnected. So, guys, I want you to pay attention to your alignment. Release the toes, front knee above the front ankle. We're going to reach up, big breaths. And gently reach over the back leg. Just like that, it doesn't have to be a big one. Then reverse it to the front. Hands on the floor, elbows on the floor or use the blocks and let's take it slowly back to the chair pose guys ready step forward fold look halfway through bend those knees with katasana with chair pose sweep it up 
Support your back, please. I'm going to take the hands on the back or on the hamstrings. Soft knees, hard up. And forward fold, guys, together with me. All the way. Look half waist first. With the half waist first, we're going to take our left leg gliding back towards the lunge. Release the toes, set the front knee above the front ankle. Reach up. All the way. And then once you're ready, go ahead and reach towards the back leg. It doesn't have to be crazy. We're not going super far. It's a restorative practice today for upper back, lower back, middle back, and some hips. And keep reaching up, slowly reverse it to the front, give it some rest. You can have your hands on the floor, use up in the blocks. Just try to make sure, team, you don't hold your breath. And a few more. We're going to focus on that front leg, activate the front leg, step back to the forward fold. Don't hurry up. And look halfway through. And let's go for another forward fold. Very good. Look halfway through, guys. We're gonna go step, walk, or hop to the plank. Take your time. We're gonna go ahead and lift and release the hips. Open up those feet a little bit wider. Definitely, if you have some back issues, take your hands farther or even land yourself on the floor we're gonna look behind one shoulder in our cobra pose and behind another one let's do it one more time and another time now if it feels really good or you can continue do what you're doing take your one hand directly in between take the other in between the legs keep reaching opening and focusing on the lengthening in that back. Hmm. Give it some time and switch, guys. Take your time, please do not hurry up. All the way. And then after this, we're gonna go for the scorpion rolls on the belly, on the prone position. Little toe tops on the side. So let's go ahead and find a good, proper position on the floor. Mm -hmm. Take your arms on the side, it's going to make it very stable and start to roll, touching the floor. You don't have to touch the floor if you can't reach, it can be just a halfway through. However, if it's really easy for you, try to start to touch on the level of the hands, closer to the hands. Don't move the hands closer to the feet, keep the hands where it is. And just do a few more little tops. And one more on each side. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let's come back to the center. Take your hands all the way up front. Reach up. Do the transition to the downward facing dog, however you can. Through the tabletop, maybe it's through the child pose. And go ahead and send your one hand towards the opposite ankle, thigh or knee. If you need to go on the floor with the knees, you can do as well this one. Relax your neck. Lengthen in the spine as always. And then softly switch to the other direction. Relax your neck, guys. Big breaths. Relaxing that neck. Feels so good. Let's slowly, gently bring the knees on the floor we're gonna sit on the toes take your hands behind guys and open up the chest if you feel some little squeaking in the back don't worry it's just the air bubbles unless it's not comfortable then i would think about it forward fold guys try to stay on your toes bring the forehead on the floor keep the hands connected active spine and one more, come on up, open up that heart, expand. Oh. And go ahead and return back to the front. So let's bring our feet up front of our body. Take the arms up, 
very good job everyone thank you for being today here with me let's close our eyes and say our gratitude again let's be open to receive the new things and new knowledge the new beginnings and let's open our heart for change let's be excited about the change let's be excited about the healing and learning about the body so let's open our heart for more love connection commitment smile with your heart and flow through the rest of your day with the true unshakable peace and love and good insight namaste so thank you for being with me today come back and i will see you soon mm -hmm.